Bet you had some trouble fighting these baddies. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the hardest Assassin's Creed bosses. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Did you guys beat any of these on your first try? Sobek, Assassin's Creed Origins. The second deity fought in the Trials of the Gods, Sobek was always going to be tough. This giant humanoid crocodile is the ancient Egyptian god of the Nile, and it may have also once been believed that the pharaoh was Sobek in human form. Fittingly, you'll find Sobek in the swamps of the Heraclean Nome, the northmost point of the Nile before it opens into the Mediterranean. He's definitely difficult, and you'll need to be the highest level in the game to be in with a shot of beating him, but his tactics are too similar to the previous god in the Trials event to be any more challenging. Simply put, Sobek doesn't have the element of surprise on his side. Belek, Assassin's Creed Unity. Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? Pierre Belek was a master assassin who worked with Charles Dorian and took Arno under his wing after they met at the Bastille. Belek taught Arno everything he knew, making his betrayal halfway through Unity all the harder to deal with. It turns out Belek turned on the assassins to stop them from making peace with the Templars throughout the chaos of the French Revolution, but Arno's loyalty to the Brotherhood put them at odds. A dramatic fight at the top of the Saint Chapel ensued, leaving the player wrestling with killing their former mentor just like Arno. It's the trickiest fight in the game, and you'll need to have unlocked specific skills to beat him. The Aramanthian Boar, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Some of the animals in the long-running, far-reaching goddess's hunt quest are pushovers, and others will take you dozens of tries to beat. The Aramanthian Boar is one such fight. Like the first Caledonian boar wasn't bad enough, the Aramanthian boar steps things up a gear by dealing poison damage. The boar in the legends needed Hercules to defeat it, who subdued it and carried it all the way to Argolis. One of the best methods players found for beating it is to earn a high bounty and trick the mercenaries into following you to its lair. Pay off the bounties just before you enter the fight, and they should aggro the boar as well. Argus, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The king of the Greek pantheon, Zeus is famous for wielding mighty bolts of lightning against all those who stand in his way. But Zeus didn't get his lightning from nowhere. The thunderbolts were actually made for him by the Cyclops, and one in particular, Argus, the Bright One. So it stands to reason that he'd be a pretty tough boss to beat when he was added to Odyssey post-launch. What makes Argus so much harder than the other Cyclopses is that he deals a lot of fire damage, fighting the Mystios in an arena of lava while throwing firebombs. If he lands just one of those bombs, you'll probably have to start over. The Minotaur, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The unholy offspring of a sacred bull and the queen, the Minotaur was so dangerous and shameful that an elaborate labyrinth was constructed to hold it. This legendary monster is one of the Isu remnants you have to hunt down while navigating the labyrinth found deep underneath Noso's palace. The Minotaur is one of the most unique and exciting bosses in the game, posing a challenging fight in a small arena where it can be difficult to dodge or use ranged attacks. You need to stay up close with this monster, parrying and blocking his attacks to take him down. Can't believe I killed the Minotaur! Water would be so proud! Giant Snake, Assassin's Creed Origins. So up it comes up! Bayek takes part in this strange ritual in order to find his son's killers, which involves him hallucinating an intense battle with a giant snake. This snake is Apep, the ancient Egyptian embodiment of chaos, and Bayek takes the place of Ra, who does battle with Apep every night so that the sun will rise the next day. With just a mythic bow of light on your side, fighting this extraordinary snake is a daunting challenge. The snake is capable of disappearing from sight and dispatching poisonous ranged attacks, making it a truly nightmarish foe. Dodging and preserving are your only tactics for this fight. Don't get hit, and don't stop shooting. I will destroy you! Die, Zorita! Al-Mu'alim, Assassin's Creed. What will I do with you? 
let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. The first game introduced us to the primary lore and gameplay that all subsequent games would be based on. Specifically, that you'll be routinely assassinating targets and hunting down legendary artifacts. But the very first final boss in the series is difficult because he catches you completely off guard after a game of instant kill counters and one-hit assassinations. Al Mu'alim betrays the Brotherhood to wield the Apple of Eden's almighty power himself. And so, Altair is pitted against a superpowered villain with powers you've never seen before. He clones himself, teleports around the battlefield, and sends your own brothers to fight against you. Anubis, Assassin's Creed Origins. The Trials of the Gods quest started with a bang by having Bayek immediately face down with the Egyptian god of the dead, the jackal-headed Anubis. Located in the Great Sand Sea, as you get close, Anubis will rise out of the desert to meet you. As the first giant humanoid god you fight in Origins, Anubis is easily the best and most difficult, employing tactics and moves not yet seen in the game. He'll send undead minions to fight you, monstrous cannons, and deal nasty area of effect attacks. Keep moving and don't lose sight of the enemies crowding you, or you can quickly be overwhelmed. El Impoluto, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Chaotic naval combat returned with a vengeance in Black Flag, as players took on the role of pirate Edward Kenway. But as part of his long journey from a destitute privateer to a master assassin, you could choose to hunt down five legendary ships, which stalk the waters of the Caribbean and attack anyone who draws too near. The nastiest of all is El Impoluto, a Spanish warship that's bigger, faster, and more damaging than the other legendaries combined, and also happens to be the only man o' war with a ram. You definitely don't want to run into this ship unprepared or underleveled, or you won't get out alive. Medusa, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The last and most frightening Isu remnant you'll encounter on your Odyssey, Medusa definitely didn't disappoint. Found hidden deep within a petrified forest on the island of Lesbos, you won't stand a chance unless you have all the overpower abilities unlocked and maxed. You also need to make sure your weapons are the most powerful ones you can get your hands on, upgraded to meet your level. You've got to hide from her sight while fighting off legions of petrified soldiers she sends your way, and only then does she become vulnerable to damage, but barely. She constantly teleports out of reach, capable of powerful ranged and melee attacks. It's a long, arduous fight, where one wrong move can spell doom. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.